In a tranquil sunlit neighborhood, an elderly black woman named Mrs. Lillian resided peacefully with her loyal German shepherd Max. Their days were filled with simple joys until a shocking event transformed their tranquil existence into a tale of resilience and fortitude. Lillian was adored by her neighbors for her welcoming smile and silver hair, and she was always prepared to offer a kind word or a cup of tea. One fateful day, Max Ever Vigilant was more than just a pet. He was her guardian and friend. Two white individuals, filled with hatred, targeted Lillian, viewing her as an easy mark. However, they had underestimated the fierce loyalty of Max, who would stop at nothing to protect his beloved owner. Mrs. Lillian resided in a diminutive red-brick residence, situated at the terminus of a tranquil street on the periphery of the city. She was a woman with silver hair and compassionate eyes, who was perpetually prepared to extend a smile to anyone who encountered her. Her neighbors knew and cherished her. Max, a German shepherd with a shiny coat and an attentive gaze, was Miss Lillian's constant companion and a prominent figure in the community, always willing to offer advice or a cup of hot tea. Max was not merely a security dog. He was a member of Mrs. Lillian's family. Always by her side watchful and friendly, always alert for any sign of danger, the two shared a special bond, built on a history that few knew Max had been adopted by Mrs. Lillian a few years ago, found in an animal shelter he was thin and scared, but something in his eyes touched the heart of the old lady she knew that this dog had a strong spirit, and that with love and care he could flourish, since then Max had shown unwavering loyalty protecting his owner from small dangers and bringing joy to her life, Mrs. Lillian's routine, was simple every morning. She tended to her garden, chatted with neighbors, and took long walks with Max around the neighborhood. During these walks, Max always stayed vigilant, sniffing the air, and observing the surroundings ready to intervene if there was any threat on a particularly hot day, Mrs. Lillian went out to shop at the local market, taking Max with her, as they walked back home, carrying bags full of fresh vegetables and warm bread she didn't notice, that they were being watched two men known in the neighborhood as the incredible bandits, due to the audacity of their crimes, were eyeing her these skinheads, filled with racial hatred, had heard about the old lady who lived alone with her dog, and decided she would be an easy target planning a quick robbery, they followed Mrs. Lillian, to her house waiting for the right moment, to strike upon arriving home Mrs. Lillian, placed the bags in the kitchen, and began putting away the groceries Max was by her side as usual, but he was troubled by something. He stiffed the air, his ears moving nervously, when abruptly a muffled sound outside caught his attention. He growled softly, approaching the front door and positioning himself protectively. Mrs. Lillian, noticing Max's uneasiness, went to the window to check before she could process what was happening. The door was violently kicked in, and two masked men entered the house pushing her to the ground. The shock was so great that she barely had time to scream. The bandits started searching the house looking for anything of value. They laughed and exchanged taunts, while Mrs. Lillian, fallen on the floor, tried to gather herself but Max was not willing to let this happen. He lunged at the intruders barking fiercely, and baring his teeth, one of the bandits, surprised by the dog's reaction, tried to kick him but Max dodged and bit the ass and arm hard the man screamed in pain cursing, and trying to break free the other bandit, seeing the situation pulled a knife from his pocket and advanced toward Max. Mrs. Lillian, still on the ground, watched the scene with a racing heart. She knew Max would fight to the end to protect her, but fear for her faithful companion consumed her she tried to get up. But her knees trembled, and the pain in her hip made movement difficult. Max's bark reverberated throughout the small house as he charged at the second intruder. The man wielding a knife slashed erratically, but Max was too quick to react. He guarded to the side, evading the blade, and clamped his jaws onto the man's leg. The man screamed. The knife is dropped as Street stumbles back. Mrs. Lillian, who was still on the floor, was able to raise herself enough to lean against the wall. Her pulse was pounding with fear and desperation. She shouted, her voice trembling, Max, be careful. But Max was too far away to hear. He was in full protector mode, intent to drive these intruders away. The first man, who was nursing his bitten arm, seized a vase from a nearby table and threw it at Max. The heavy object missed his target and shattered against the wall. Max released his hold on the second man's leg and growled menacingly, his fur bristling. He positioned himself between Mrs. Lillian and the two men, prepared for whatever was to come. The men, who were now clearly panicked, exchanged a quick glance, muttering, We need to get out of here. However, before they could make a move, Max charged again, snapping at their heels. The men bolted for the door, tripping over each other in their haste to escape. Max returned to Mrs. Lillian, who had finally been able to stand. She wrapped her arms around his neck, allowing tears to run down her face. 
Max, you saved me, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion. The intruders had vanished. Max gently licked her hand, his own method of reassuring her as the adrenaline began to wear off. Mrs. Lillian sank into her favorite armchair, Max at her feet. The room was a mess, but she was safe thanks to her loyal companion. As she stroked Max's head, memories of how Max had come into her life and all the times he had protected her years ago flooded back. Mrs. Lillian felt an emptiness that seemed impossible to fill, and her daughter, who was concerned for her well-being, suggested that she adopt a dog for companionship. Mrs. Lillian reluctantly consented and visited the local animal shelter, where she first encountered Max. Max was different from the other dogs, he was quite reserved, and his eyes held a depth of sadness that spoke to her. The shelter worker told her that Max had been found wandering the streets malnourished and scared there was something about him that tugged at her heartstrings, and she knew she had to take him home from the day Max entered her home. Things began to change his presence, brought comfort and a sense of security. He would follow her everywhere, always vigilant, always ready to protect. There were times when he chased off stray cats that wandered too close or barked at suspicious noises. In the night each time, Max proved his worth, and deep in the bond they shared one particular incident, stood out in her mind a few months after adopting Max Miss Lillian, had fallen in the garden unable to get up she called out, and within moments Max was by her side, barking furiously until a neighbor heard and came to help it was then she realized just how much Max understood and cared for her now as she looked into his loyal eyes. She knew without a doubt that adopting Max was one of the best decisions she had ever made he wasn't just a pet, he was her guardian, her friend, and her hero. And today once again he had proven his unwavering loyalty and bravery. The night was unusually quiet as Mrs. Lillian and Max sat together, attempting to regain some semblance of tranquility in the aftermath of the traumatic events of the day. She had just begun to drift off to sleep when a noise outside jolted her awake. Max, who was always vigilant, was already on his feet, his ears perked and alert through the thin draperies. Mrs. Lillian observed the shadows of the two men creeping around the side of the house, and her pulse rate increased as she realized that they had returned, this time with a resolute determination to complete the task they had begun. She murmured to Max, her voice trembling but resolute. Max responded with a low growl, his muscles tense and prepared for action. The front door rattled as the men attempted to force it open again. This time Mrs. Lillian quickly seized the phone and quickly dialed the police, explaining the situation in hushed tones. She encouraged them to hasten before hanging up and turning her attention back to Max. The door finally buckled with a loud crash, and the men burst into their faces. Torn between wrath and frustration, where is that dog? One of them became enraged and began to grasp a metal pipe, unaware that Max was prepared to meet them. Max launched himself at the intruders with a ferocity that caught them off guard. He immediately pursued the man with the pipe, avoiding the wild swings and sinking his teeth into the man's arm. The man screamed, dropping the pipe and attempting to shake Max off. The second man, in a state of panic and desperation, backed away and began to fumble with something in his pocket. Before he could react, Max released his grip and charged at him, knocking him to the ground. The man's hand slipped out of his pocket, revealing a small knife that clattered to the ground. Mrs. Lillian, as she observed the scene unfold, felt a combination of pride and fear as Max continued his relentless assault, compelling the men to retreat toward the door. Just as it appeared that Max had the upper hand, the sound of sirens filled the air, and the men, realizing they were out of time, scrambled to their feet and bolted out the door. Max pursued them until they vanished into the darkness. The police arrived moments later, their flashing lights casting an unearthly glow over the scene. Guns were drawn as officers raced in, but the immediate threat had dissipated. Max stood at the doorway, his eyes fixated on the path, panting heavily but unharmed. The intruders had stolen the officers assured Mrs. Lillian that they would do everything in their power to capture the men and ensure her safety as they secured the house and took statements. She slumped into a chair, her relief flooding through her as she recounted the events. The commotion drew the attention of neighbors who began to gather outside. Word of Max's bravery spread quickly, and the small crowd was soon abuzz with admiration for the loyal dog. One of the officers approached Mrs. Lillian, saying, Madam, your dog is incredible. He protected you bravely. We will ensure your safety, but you have a remarkable guardian here. Mrs. Lillian gazed down at Max, who was now sitting serenely at her feet, and smiled through her tears. I am aware that he is my hero, she said gently, reaching down to stroke his head in the days that followed. Mrs. Lillian's house became a symbol of bravery in the neighborhood friends and neighbors, 
visited frequently bringing food and offering help with repairs, Max was treated like a local hero receiving treats and pats from everyone who came by the bond between Mrs. Lillian and Max only grew stronger after that night. She knew that no matter what challenges came their way they would face them together, Max had proven time and again that his loyalty and courage were boundless, and for that Mrs. Lillian was eternally grateful as the sun set on another day. Mrs. Lillian sat on her porch with Max by her side, reflecting on the events that had unfolded she knew they had been through a terrifying ordeal. But she also knew that with Max beside her she could face anything together. They watched the neighborhood settle into the peaceful evening, knowing that their unbreakable bond had only grown stronger. The days turned into weeks and life gradually returned to normal for Mrs. Lillian and Max the neighborhood. Remained abuzz with the tale of Max's heroics and the old woman and her loyal dog became local legends children would often ask their parents to pass past by Mrs. Lillian's house just to catch a glimpse of the brave dog who had saved his beloved owner ever the gracious hostess. Mrs. Lillian would greet visitors with open arms and recount the story of that fateful night with a blend of pride and gratitude. Consistently emphasizing the bravery and loyalty of Max were evident in his treatment of each visitor as a new comrade. He was always vigilant and protective, basing his actions on the attention and affection he received. On a sunny afternoon, Mrs. Lillian sat on her porch with Max lying contentedly at her feet. A gentle breeze rustled the leaves of the old oak tree in her front yard, and she gazed out at the neighborhood, reflecting on the events of the previous night. The fear and danger of that night seemed a distant memory, replaced by the warmth and security of the present. Her thoughts turned to the lessons she had learned in Max, who had not only become a pet but also a protector, companion, and true friend. His unwavering loyalty and courage had taught her the depths of an animal's love and the extraordinary bond that can form between humans and their pets. She considered the significance of adopting animals in need, knowing that Max had come into her life from a place of abandonment and fear, only to become her greatest protector. Mrs. Lillian was aware that their narrative conveyed a message that was universally applicable. It was a tale of resilience, trust, and the extraordinary transformations that can occur when one opens their heart to love. She aspired for those who heard their story to be motivated to look beyond the surface, to recognize the potential for greatness in all beings, and to comprehend the profound influence of compassion and care. As the sun set below the horizon, it cast a golden glow over the neighborhood. Mrs. Lillian smiled as she gazed down at Max. You have demonstrated the essence of true fortitude, Max. You are not merely my dog. You are my hero. She stated that her voice was overflowing with affection. Max lifted his head and gazed at her with soulful eyes, as if he comprehended every word. He drew closer, resting his head on her lap, his presence a constant reminder of the love and protection he provided. The days that followed were characterized by a deeper sense of connection and serenity. Mrs. Lillian continued to maintain her garden, take walks, and enjoy the company of her neighbors, always with Max by her side. Their bond, which was forged in moments of crisis and strengthened by daily acts of affection, was unbreakable. The quiet moments of the evening were characterized by a profound sense of gratitude as Mrs. Lillian sat with Max, watching the world go by. She was confident that she and Max would confront any challenges that arose in the future, and this was all the assurance she needed. The story of Mrs. Lillian and Max spread beyond their neighborhood, touching the hearts of many and inspiring acts of kindness and bravery. It was a testament to the power of love and the extraordinary bond between a woman and her dog, a story that would be remembered and cherished for years to come. As time passed, Mrs. Lillian and Max continued to live their lives, sharing their love and strength with all who crossed their path. Their story became a beacon of hope, reminding everyone that love and loyalty could prevail in the face of adversity, and that true heroes often appear in the most unexpected forms.